like to call the meeting of the district of Chetwin to order at 4.30. I would, uh, I'd like to uh, get the opening statement read. As we gather today on the traditional territory of the Treaty 8 Nations to conduct the business of the District of Chetwin, we do so knowing that we are privileged to serve the citizens of this community and we shall endeavor to conduct our business in their best interest. Thank you. Thank you. I have some uh, late items prior to the adoption of the agenda and to ask for new business so that uh, the late item would be uh, EI3. Email from the City of Dawson Creek dated March 17, 2022, co-host 2023 North Central Local Government uh, Association, AGM. And RA4, North Central Local Government Association 2022 resolution, resolutions. And with that, any new business, council, staff, Councilor Deck. New tender for the tanker truck. Sorry, Mel, we can't. I can't hear you. Sorry, Mel, I couldn't hear you. Can you hear Mel? That's better. That's better. Okay, I just have a couple of. Yep, yeah, that's good. Okay, thank you. Is there any other items uh, to add to our agenda for new business? Not hearing any. Adoption of the agenda. Okay. Any discussion, omissions from? Okay, all those in favor? Carry. Minutes. From March 7th. Any omissions? Any discussion? All those in favor? Carry. Delegations. Uh, no delegations today. Bylaws. District of Chetwin Solid Waste uh, Collection and Disposal uh, Services Amended Bylaw Number 1147 2022 by, uh, requires adoption. Discussion. Okay, not hearing any. All those in favor? Any opposed? Gary. Committee reports. Uh, from the regional district, I have one uh, important uh, item that uh, at our closed meeting on March 7th, the PRD Hospital Board of Directors made one major decision on our, ho on our uh, hospital board meeting on, um, on the 7th. Uh, from the new, about the new construction of the hospital in uh, Dawson Creek, the decision was to invite Treaty 8 First Nations chiefs to our air, from our area or their representative, representatives to the closed PRRD Hospital Board quarterly budget meeting uh, with Northern Health. So that was major, one of the major things that was uh, came out of our PRD that we invite uh, the local uh, indigenous uh, chiefs. And from, uh, that was from the Peace River Regional and from the mayor uh, about housing. I have uh, discussed uh, the lack of housing and affordability with uh, BC Housing and uh, industrial businesses that operate in the area and around Chetwin. Uh, collaboration uh, between communities BC Housing and industrial uh, industry gives possibility of opportunities for... This meeting for, is being recorded. Okay, thank you. BC Housing and industry giving possibilities of opportunities for better ways to house citizens and this might be another avenue to explore in depth with all parties. 
Uh, August uh, 10th, 2021, I met with uh, BC Housing Director and Prince George and uh, gave them this uh, little bit of information that uh, industry and uh, community like Chapman and other communities get involved with industry, trying to collaborate with something so that we might alleviate, alleviate some of the housing possibilities in Chetland and surrounding area. So this is uh, the housing part of it that uh, is uh, being thrown around in our area, that the lack of housing. Uh, another issue uh, was connectivity and the lack of connectivity in our area. Uh, the two major providers looking to resolve this uh, issue of poor connectivity in the Chetland area will be TELUS. TELUS is our main uh, provider and they've uh, approached uh, Chetland to give us the opportunity to get connected by 2023. So we're still working on that. And uh, one, one other provider that uh, showed interest was Shaw. And, but uh, TELUS is our main provider. That's who we uh, subscribe to here at the district. And uh, most of uh, the whole area here besides, uh, I think we have a satellite, satellite provider and Bell. So uh, with that, hopefully by 2023, Chetwin will be connected to uh, fiber. Uh, dark. So uh, this uh, connectivity aligns with the strategic plan uh, of retaining professionals, uh, laborers of all levels. So very important to uh, the future of Chetwin. On the health matters, one, one of the things that is positive from our collaborative is a collaborative service committee roundtable. This is a health uh, committee that we formed between uh, Chetland, Dawson Creek, Tumbler Ridge, uh, Kelly Lake First Nations, West Moberly First Nations, Soda First Nations. Uh, this roundtable gives us an opportunity, opportunity to set out our issues, views, and amend small or big problems that otherwise may have fell by the wayside. And as talking about health, our health matters with our doctors, uh, the nursing positions and the doctors have been filled. Hopefully this summer we won't see any diversions uh, that uh, without any emergencies, just running on a regular daily basis. So that is my report and any other, any questions on that by the report if anybody has any questions? Okay. Any other reports? We'll go with Councillor Galbraith. Hello? Okay, so I'm Councillor Galbraith. Um, I just wanted to say that I think it's really good that you guys are working with us and we're working together and we're going to do some Okay, so on um, March 10th, I had my BC Hydro Go Fund meeting. And since the BC Hydro Go Fund was established, it's approved over 65 projects with about uh, $572 in funding to support various organizations within our eligible communities. And uh, to date, the Go Fund has received $700,000 from BC Hydro. And the first intake of 2022, as of February 28th, we have um, $114,000 available for granting. And we had only received two applications this round and for funding, and once they are notified, then that information will become public. So then the Northeast Regional Advisory Committee met March 18th, and we had seven applications that were received for funding. And again, once those applicants are notified, then that information will become public. Um, the the Northeast RAC Committee, since inception in 2005, that trust has approved uh, 400, $408 million in funding towards uh, 4,670 different projects. So it's quite amazing. And um, they, they include a, an entire list of everybody that they have funded. And if you ever get a chance to go to the NDIT website, I would recommend it just to get an idea of who's funded and um, 
some of the funds that they received. There was a, a slight change to the business facade improvement program that we have here in town. And some of the some of the recommendations were to remove the max lifetime maximum so businesses could apply more than once and remove uh, specific, specifically associated with signage projects and allow standalone external accessibility improvement. So there were some changes there. And I believe that's about that's about all my report. Any questions? Those are recommendations put forward by NDIT and then the board determines whether to support it. Thank you. Councilor Deck. Um, first off, uh, it's in regards to the uh, library committee um, for the when during the building uh, process, um, they're looking at the using the current book drop uh, or, or building a new one. Uh, they're looking at parking spots. They're looking at all the finer, finer tuning some stuff outside uh, the cafe area. Uh, this is this is the area we have been receiving the most questions on, and are having a hard time answering. We're a small town, and a lot of these conversations are happening in the uh, grocery store, or in lineups at the hardware store, and so on. Uh, we all know the, that the bistro is much loved and appreciated. It is the envy of libraries that do not have one and trend-setting libraries of the future. We have heard about a, how great the Calgary li Library is and when asked what makes it so great, the response is the food and the children's play center in the middle of the library. This is the direction in which libraries are going. Uh, they'd like some more clarity on um, on what's gonna be happening with the, um, the bistro or a food services program there because they, they have children's food programs and, and, and so on and the School uses it quite quite a few of the kids use it from the school as well, um, and they'd like to they'd like to know as well so that they can set up a a contract because the contract expires at the end of this year. They'd like to know if, to set up a contract for for the new people coming in if there's going to be one or at what what um, what capacity is going to be there. Um, uh, they're also uh, they're quite happy with the. Um, conversation in regards to their maintenance of the library that's going to be shared with the rec center and uh, furniture and fixtures they're going to be they're going to be looking at their cost sheets and once they they're going to be taking some stuff with them and then they'll put, put some stuff on a wish list where they may have to fundraise and so on uh, for the um, for for new um, fixtures and so on and so on. and uh, that's about it thank you Sounds very, uh, very exciting that uh, Chapman is uh, going to get a new library with amenities. So with all that being said, and uh, our children, that's the basic uh, stuff that we deal with, or basis that we deal with in any community. We have to have children in order for us to grow. So uh, thank you very much for that uh, report. Uh, Councillor Deck, uh, any other reports? Administration. Um, I have a question. Okay, go ahead. I have a question. Sorry, you, Laura. Go ahead, um, Councillor. I was just Thank wondering, you. Councillor Deck, if you are they um, putting the, it out for bid for the bistro? Will that be out for bid for anybody to want to bid on it? Um, I, that's what they're looking at. They want to know. Uh, the library board would like to know what the um, what the format is going to be, whether it goes out to bid or if the goes back to the first person or if there's or at what capacity they're going to be serving people in there with uh, whether it's going to be the same or less or more yep. does anybody else have any questions for councillor deck uh, one one thing that uh, we have to be clear on is that we are donate. We are putting our funds from Chetwin into this library. 
And you can look in the budget. We are putting towards the library $1 million. So that is part of our uh, uh, donation, I guess, to build our new library. But we have what we call is that we are stakeholders. And every one of us in town uh, have that ability to voice their opinion. And this is what we are hearing. So if anybody else has anything with, for the library, they have meetings. Uh, do, they, do they have a, a schedule for the? Okay, any more questions for Councillor Deck? Just to mention that the PRAD publishes that uh, Library Advisory Committee's agenda on their website, so anybody can have a look at the plans and whatever else is published on there. Thank you, Carol. Okay, uh, no questions. Uh, staff, any uh, reports? You said yes? <laughs> okay, thank you very much. That's uh, reports. Committee reports uh, go on to discussion items. Can I make a motion to receive the reports? Yes, thank you very much, Councillor Galbraith. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Any opposed? Carried. Okay, discussion items. Discussion item one, email from the First Nations Major Project Coalition, dated March 7th, 2022, invitation to FNMC PCS leaders, leadership dinner. I need a motion. Discussion? Okay, just a little history on that. I will be attending a, a meeting on the 26th, it starts, so what we will what will happen is that we won't use two uh, flights, I'll just use one, and I'll continue to stay in uh, Vancouver and continue to the, to the meeting, uh, which is, it just needs to be right now, what meeting is that, Carol? Give me a hand here. Um, the, the one that we're just discussing now is on April 24th. Yeah, and the other one is, is that on the 26th. That's that the question I'm asking. Is that Kofi? That's the one, yeah. Okay. Yep, that's Kofi meeting. We'll, we'll be starting on the 26th, so we're not going to go fly back and forth, so I'll just uh, stay in uh, Vancouver and, and carry on with the meetings. And I tried to, when, when asked, I asked the question, was there any, any possibility that some other uh, person I could bring along, like if council wanted to send anybody else besides uh, the mayor? And uh, the answer was no, because there was only one seat that they were, uh, they were giving. So that part there, I, I made sure I asked. Okay, okay we, any more discussion on that? So not hearing any. All those in favor? Any opposed? Carry. Discussion item number two, email from the city. I would make that motion that council donate $1,000 to the Red Cross and bring humanitarian crisis counseling. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Any opposed? Carry. Correspondence. We have Do we? The late oh, right, the late item.
Okay. So, uh, we have ourselves the North, North Central Local Government Association and Convention Organization Committee is made up of So what do we got here, Carol? Okay, go ahead. Uh, yep, just a little explanation, Carol. Oh, sure. So uh, we council previously agreed to co-host the 2023 mm -hmm. NCLGA with Dawson Creek. So they're just asking for the appointment of two councillors to the planning committee. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, councillor. I need a second. Any discussion? Carol? Did council want to choose two people to, to sit on that committee? Council, would you uh, entertain that thought right now or should you leave it up to uh, a poll on who might be able to attend? I, I would put my name forward only because I helped a lot of time. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Council Galbraith. Any uh, other volunteers? Okay, we will put uh, Councillor Galbraith's name forward, and we will uh, we will poll the others. And if it uh, doesn't come out clear, the mayor will appoint. Okay. Did we vote on that? We, we don't have to vote on the appointment, right? Okay, that's fine. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, moving on. Correspondence. Letter from the Union of BC Municipalities dated March 3rd, 2022, provincial response to the 2021 resolution. Provincial response. I would make a motion to receive C1 and C3. Uh, C3. Okay. Make a motion to receive C1 and C3. Okay. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Any opposed? Carry. Councillor Bezendowski, C3 letter from BC Electoral Area Boundaries Commission in response to the District of Chelton letter pro, 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 province current electoral district boundaries. Um, there's a there's a lot of stake here, and I don't think that the citizens of the BC peace really understand what's at stake here. I mean, the the long and short of it is they want to take one of the MLAs away from uh, the BC peace, which means one person is covering a territory from the corner of the BC Alberta border down just south of Poose Coop all the way up to the Yukon border, and you know, it's it's purely based on population, which makes sense in a lot of ways, but at some point area has to be taken into account as well. So. Um, we had talked about having a town hall meeting and it never came to fruition, but um, I think somehow the, the information needs to get out to the public before uh, they come up and try to paint this over as no big deal because it really is a big deal and on a provincial scale, uh, I, I think that, you know, worst case scenario happened and they could be moving six seats up to her, about six seats in rural British Columbia down to the lower mainland. So that does not represent rural BC in a, in a representative manner. Any more discussion? Go ahead, Councillor. Yeah. Should have probably had an idea along, along those lines. 
Is there a, a quick point form fact sheet, fact check sheet that we can put in our Facebook page or a district website or something like that? Is there such a thing um, out there? Maybe the liberals got something. I'll check. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We apparently wrote them a letter and then to push it aside would not be the right thing to do. So thanks for that catch. So with that information coming forward, uh, there is some stuff that, that uh, the North was uh, promised 17 seats, right? That That's part of that and that went away. Uh, now the commission that's uh, handling this they don't have to give us those seats in the north. So that's one of the issues and that has to be brought in with uh, the history of uh, when we do put it out there. Any more discussion? Will we get a, a notice, uh, staff, on what's going out there? Okay, thank you. Your Worship, if, could I get a motion to receive C3? Okay. Any discussion? Any discussion? Not hearing any. All those in favor? Carried. Information items. All those in favor? Any opposed? Carried. Reports for action, RA1, 2022 election official appointment. I need a second. Discussion? Not hearing any. All those in favor? Any opposed? Carried. RA, RA2, ratification of email poll uh, purchases of two, uh, three, 3,500 series, four by four, work trucks, cab, and chassis. I would make that motion that council ratify the resolution adopted by email. Poll on March 10th, 2nd. Discussion? Now, what brought the, the price up like that? Any particular idea? Um, when we got the quotes, when we did the capital planning, there was some changes that happened. One of them was um, uh, putting the two trucks together to get a better price. So we thought we'd get a better price by putting them both together going out. But the cost of the commodity just changed. Um, we only get estimates. Uh, we don't actually go to tender. Or we get quotes. So it really was that. And it was the availability of the vehicles and the prices that they are right now. They actually, the guys spent quite a bit of time trying to find just what we could. I talked to Kevin about um, looking at used. And for the price, we're better to go with new. So we did spend quite a bit of time on this one. 
are, are these um, regular pickup box cabs or are the club cabs or quad? Yeah. <clears throat> the water sewer one is just a regular cab, but the parks we went for a ca uh, um, club crew cab. Thank you. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Any opposed? Carried. RA3, Development Permit and Facade Improvement Grant Application. Second. second. Discussion? Not hearing any. All those in favor? Any opposed? Carry. Are you opposed? Worship, did you want to do the second late item, R A four? Okay, R A four, North Central Local Government Association, twenty twenty two resolution or resolutions. With um, this report as attachments A, B, and C. Any discussion? Not hearing I'm, I'm any. Sorry, I missed the yes, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I missed the resolution. Um, you guys are cutting out really bad. So I'm not sure what the resolution was. Are we voting for it or like what is the, what was the resolution, sorry? Okay, I'll just get Councillor Galbraith to read it out again. It was the recommendation. Recom recommendation number two. B, sorry, B, that council endorse the resolutions included with this report as attachments A, B, and C. Thank you. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Any opposed? Carry. Reports for information, February accounts, payable checklist. I'll make that recommendation for the check register for the month of February 2022, totaling $480,851.11 be received. Any discussion? All those in favor? Any opposed? Carried.
New business, uh, prior to new business, I would just like to thank one of our workers that uh, has, is retiring, uh, Greg Burke. We, uh, he's been with the district for 13 years, and I would just like to thank him for his services. Uh, and thank you, have a happy retirement, uh, Greg. Thank you very much for your service. New business, go ahead, Councillor uh, Deck. And I just want to just check to make sure it's all right to speak about this fire tender in, in the open meeting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, once again, um, we're we're looking at uh, replacing or complementing our fire hall with uh, uh, another uh, water truck for uh, for better understanding um, to take to scenes in town and or out of town. And um, we've, we're getting a generous donation again from the Peace River Regional District. And I'd like to bring up again, um, if we could canvas um, the, uh, would it be possible to canvas the insurance companies, the larger insurance companies like Wawanisa and so on and so forth for, for a large donation. I'll even do it myself. I don't have a problem with it um, in order, and if we could even put a little sign on the side a little handwritten sign about this big nothing that obscures anything or anything that there are um, insurance companies that have been working in this area for years and years and years um have made a contribution as well because i believe the majority of the um the truck um specifications and everything are driven by the insurance companies uh, i'm just wondering if we could uh we could look at that look at their support for our community Staff? Absolutely, we can. Thank you. Any discussion? Go ahead, uh, staff, Kevin. This uh, tender truck that we're in the process of dealing with is a bit of a unique uh, scenario in the fact that we're not going to be the ones buying it. The regional district is doing this one. So anything like that, in my mind, would have to be done on their behalf not through us so just make sure i would just say get them on board before we start talking to the insurance companies is all well they, even if, if it's not this truck the next one yeah or, or whatever just yeah because they've uh, and they they've given good support to our community in the past as insurance agents and so on and i'll vote for that but i i think they, it would be nice for them to uh, make a donation hmm? If not for this truck, the next one or something else. By your all. <laughs> Just saying. All right, uh, there was no, no other uh, new business. So, any public questions at this time on items that we discussed today? Not hearing any. Deanne, do we have anybody on uh, on the line or Zoom? No, there isn't. Okay, thank you very much. And reporters, any any questions? Good. Okay, adjournment. Discussion. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, we are adjourned. <laughs>